Sotheby's returns to Chatsworth this autumn for its 10th anniversary exhibition of Beyond Limits, the outdoor monumental sculpture show. To mark this extraordinary milestone, we've appointed Tim Marlowe, Artistic Director of the Royal Academy, as our guest curator. And this is our largest show with over 35 works, including several loans from the Devonshire Collection. The exhibition at Chatsworth is an exploration of a particular story. And I think one of the most underrated narratives in British visual culture since the war is sculpture. It's a landscape, it's a terrain, and we're making a journey through it, but of course we're also putting sculptures in a literal landscape. And it's that, I think, that gives it its edge. It's a story that starts with Hepworth and Moore. I think Moore is a major international artist. I think Hepworth is shamefully underrated. But one of the points of this show, with Hepworth's work, particularly the extraordinary the three obliques, is to show the grandeur, ambition and sensitivity of an artist like Hepworth. It's a story that also gains momentum over the decades. The generation includes Kenneth Armitage, Reg Butler, Lynn Chadwick, Jeffrey Clark, Bernard Meadows, and Eduardo Palazzi and William Turnbull. They're all in this exhibition. And in a way, they're the forgotten generation. I think the pivotal moment in British sculpture is in the 60s, where Anthony Caro, the great radical, welded, abstract steel sculptor, and the generation of artists that he inspired, including his friend and colleague, Philip King, they literally and metaphorically knocked sculpture off the pedestal into our space, and they produced what's fundamentally urban art. And then there's a battle in the 60s and 70s, which is the battle between conceptual art and the idea of sculpture as an idea against the idea of sculpture as an object. Richard Long is part of that conceptual generation, who quite literally goes out into the landscape, walks it, and turns the act of walking into a sculptural gesture. But that generation that emerged in the 1980s, they were blandly called the New British Sculptors, but there's nothing bland about their work. Tony Cragg, Richard Deacon, Bill Woodrow, Anthony Gormley, Alison Wilding, a whole range of artists under that broad umbrella. And then in the 90s, artists like Sarah Lucas, Gavin Turk, Mark Wallinger, I seem to be playing with sculptural conventions or tradition that has now been established in Britain, as well as being firmly international artists. And then an artist like Conrad Shawcross, who's the very youngest in the exhibition, whose conversation is not just with the sculpture of the past, but is an ongoing dialogue with contemporary science. Beyond Limits runs from Monday the 14th of September until Sunday the 25th of October. And with so much on, including Chatsworth's inaugural literary festival, Art Out Loud, there really can be no better time to come and visit. <laughs> <laughs>